You can never have enough hard drive space, right? Maybe for photography or for video work or whatever kind of content gets you through a quarantine. I'm talking about porn. Hashtag not judging. But anyway, if you want to find a solution that doesn't break the bank, I might have an alternative solution for you. My name is Damien Cooper and welcome to Monkey Pig. We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three, listen. Although hard drive space has become a lot more affordable over the last couple of years, I think there's still a big lag of high capacity SSD options out there when it comes to external storage. And I would say the most commonly used external storage solution for content creators all around the world is the T3 and T5 series by Samsung. But even after releasing their new T7 series, the biggest hard drive they offer is still only two terabytes, which will cost you about $400. And since size does matter, two terabytes was never enough for me. I always hated to having to split all my footage across multiple hard drives, so I always was looking for one bigger hard drive to store all my footage on, especially when you have a higher spec codec like 4K RAW or if you shoot a lot of content for YouTube or clients like we do and you have to go across multiple projects most of the time, it's really a pain in the ass having to gather all that footage across multiple hard drives. But my research for external SSD solutions that are for Four terabytes or even bigger unfortunately only led to really expensive solutions. But what if we could use an internal SSD as our external storage solution which is a lot cheaper than the external counterparts if they even have an option for that. But how do we connect our internal SSD to our computer? And the answer here is pretty easy. Just go on Amazon and get a USB-C to SATA adapter which runs you about $15. Plug your hard drive into your computer and that's all you need. And now you have a external SSD which write and read speeds of around 500 megabytes which should be plenty enough for most photography and video work with two thirds of the price point of their external SSD counterpart. But is this a safe and reliable solution for your business? Because obviously these internal hard drives are not used for external work and I can only speak for ourselves because we had two of these adapters in use for almost 18 months now and we had no problems whatsoever. We even traveled to over 15 countries and we never had a disconnect or something not working. As a matter of fact, the connection was actually more reliable than their external dedicated counterparts because with them we actually had some unfortunate disconnects over the years where the cables came loose because the connection was used too many times over the years. But with this one, we never ran into a single problem. I even Velcro taped my SSD to the back of my MacBook Pro for seamless portability and since the eternal SSD is so lightweight that actually worked like a brief. So if you want to give this solution a try we linked all the products that we used in the description below and maybe you can save some money on external hard drive space. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more and I hope to see you on the next one.